I thought I'd come into the lab for a while this morning and see if I had an idea last night about hooking two of these little animals together with the second one having a different set of offset frequencies so that uh, they weren't operating in the same group. And so what I did is I shifted my first one by putting this little piece of, of cut out circuit board on it and uh, that's how I'm tuning that guy and you can see that he's running and powering those three LEDs and he is in turn powering this guy which it, of course you see a single lead coming across he's in turn powering this LED panel and the way I've tuned them differently is of course before you know in one of the first three versions I was showing you the two coils here, the two L2's and I dropped that back out and left this a standard L3 this a standard L2 so I'm not getting the same response I was getting before mainly because I'm not unable at this time to pull it into that range that I wanted to get in that natural group but I'm close enough to it that it gave me enough power to power this guy and this guy I have tuned by I have a little different L3 here, it doesn't have as many turns on it, so I have this group operating at a much higher frequency than what this one is. And by doing that, of course, we get the amplification of the gain. And instead of putting my, my little mass down here, I've put the mass, as you can see, right here off of the end of the output of the L3. So in essence, what we're doing is the mass now is absorbing energy as well as the the lead panel and there is a little bit of feedback into it I'll get up here and you can't see too much coming back in and you can see the offset of my first one there uh, there's my marker down on the right hand side you can see how he's pulled because I can't quite get into that range so what I can do and what I'm going to do here later this afternoon is go ahead and change this so I can bring this right on the money and I'm quite sure that what's going to happen here is we're going to have a a massive gain and so I'm going to have to get rid of this red guy he's about burning out already so you can see the energy coming in here coming in here uh, this one is in oscillation parametric oscillation it's also transmitting through this thing at the same time it's receiving. It's also boosting a signal over here via the one lead, which is powering this guy up, which is also a parametric oscillator operating at a much higher set, and that's what's run it, running the lead panel here. So actually, uh, what I'm seeing here is probably, you could just keep going. Uh, if you want to get more and more gain out of this, you could just keep raising it and raising it and raising it by adding more units to it. And as you can see, there's I'm going to peek under here. There's no hidden batteries here, folks. Uh, and I can touch. Let me do this for you because everybody thinks that I I squirrel around here with some of this stuff. But you can see I can detune it. I can touch it. Uh, there shouldn't be any hum coming back through the camera. There should, there's no electrical shock here anywhere. I can grab grab any number of things here, and and you can see I'm not getting shocked. So we're not talking either about a hidden transmitter putting out gobs and gobs of power. So you, what you're seeing is what it is.